Hi there, I'm Shan with H&K Ranch and I just thought I would um, record a little video for you so that you know how to uh, work everything in the passport. So as you can see, here's the passport. We have you in the driveway right now because we are on our way for a little trip for uh, Labor Day weekend. But let me go ahead and turn it around and give you a quick tour. So this is the passport. We have a picnic table out here for you, a broom, trash can, a small table. You do have a barbecue that's available for you. You do have to light the barbecue with a barbecue lighter because the igniter switch does not work on it. And we've got the awning out just a little bit. Um, it should be fine to leave it out while you're gone. And let's go on in and show you the place. So this panel right up underneath the TV is the one you want to pay most attention to. This is how you turn on your lights in the place. And you have three lights at the top. A lot of times I'll see people actually turn them off here, which is fine if you want less light. But just know that if you turn all three of them off, this switch here is not going to work. So if you leave them all on then you can work it here you have a porch light as well um, this is the button to retract the awning or extend the awning we've got trees out there so you can't go much further out the water pump is set to on if you turn it off you will not have water um, the electric water heater is also turned on this is the gas water heater button you are connected to electric so just leave this where it is and then also be aware that if you take showers the shower is like a six gallon water heater so you're gonna have to wait for the uh, water heater to heat up another batch of hot water before the next person takes their shower all right, the couch here makes out into um, a bed itself. So uh, all of your supplies are up underneath. There is a pump. So there's an, an air mattress you'll need to pump up. And then this, the cushions come off and you just pull it right out to give you your base to throw the air mattress on top of. And then all your sheets and stuff are here. Um, you'll notice that I have this um, reflective bubble wrap on all of the windows. Feel free to pull these right out. They're just sitting between the window coverings and the walls. And I stuff them back behind the couch just to get them out of your way. Um, let's see. You've got two bunks to sleep in. The bathroom itself. Um, pretty simple right? You've got a switch here. Again, if you turn the light off at the ceiling, then your switch will not work. The shower has an on-off switch here so that you can take quick showers, press the button in to turn it off. You can lather up, turn it back on to rinse down. And then you'll notice that I have little hooks here on the inside. So when you get in the shower... You can then pull this all the way across and hook it on the other side. And that way you won't get water out into the main um, bathroom area. All right. You have another roll of toilet paper up underneath. Um, hopefully you guys understand that um, you do need to fill the bowl if you're going to Go poop, make a pool for the for the kids, okay? All right. Um, you have storage here. This is spices, paper plates, oil, uh, balsamic vinegar. You have coffee, sugar. Um, there are to-go cups, I believe, for coffee in there. Pans, bowls. Here's your towels and washcloths in there. Your fridge and your freezer are ready to go. You have your full party table. Um, there is a light here, which only gets turned on from this button. And there's also another light here, which is only turned on by a button next to it. 
This is the master bedroom area. I flipped the head around just so your head's not in the hole there. And then you have plenty of storage on the sides and all up above. Um, let's see. TV. Um, I found out somebody ran into the TV, so it's got a bunch of splinter marks on it. So that's not going to work out for you. You do have a 12-volt charger here that you can use. You have plug here where you can charge your phones. There's also another plug right here to charge your phones. There are plugs up underneath on, I believe, both sides of the bed. And then there are plugs in the back of each bunk for you to charge phones. This here is the AC unit. It is going to get hot. One click on the bottom here puts it on the fan. Next click puts it on cool. Final click puts it on the furnace. A third click and then it turns it right off. And then it just has um, a number here and you can dial it up or down depending upon if you want it colder or hotter. All right guys, so that gives you kind of a tour. Ooh, I did forget. Stove oven. You do have a barbecue lighter here to light the stove with. Pretty simple. Push it in, turn it, light it. Here's a tea kettle for you to um, boil some hot water for your coffee press. Oh, I do need to get you a coffee press. I'll make sure you have a coffee so you can have coffee in the morning. But if you guys have any questions, problems, issues, feel free to um, give us a call. I'm going to leave you two other phone numbers that you can call to in case you have any issues. One is my neighbor, Steve. He's in the greenhouse that you passed um, as you came in. And the other is a really good friend of ours who's going to be here every single day um, just watering the garden and checking on things for us. So um, if you have any problems, let us know. Hope you have a great time. Bye, guys.